a warm good morning everyone present over here dear putanigala today i am here to explain you grade second evs the chapter name is sweet home sweet home right yes, as you all know that you have been observing yes something on the screen okay yes we need home no everyone is required home not only humans but also <coughs> animals are also required yes home right yes birds are required nest animals are required caves okay to stay and insects right yes in this particular session okay you will be able to learn what is meant by home and the types of homes and also you will learn about yes houses around the world am i right and which are the special qualities of good home am i right children here are some beautiful videos to watch okay are you all yes interested to watch this video yes let's get in sex need a home a home makes everyone feel secure and comfortable. Look at the pictures given below. A bird's nest. A spider's web. Honeybees' honeycomb. Ants' ant hills. A rabbit's burrow. Even we human beings need a home for shelter and comfort. One, our home keeps us warm in winter. Two, our home keeps us cool during summer. Yes, my dear students, we all need a house to live in. Am I right? The house, yes, it protects us from heat, right? Yes, why do we need a house? Come on, tell me, Chindran. Yes, we need a house. Okay, to protect ourselves from the heat, right? Yes, we need a house, not only from the hotness, but also, yes, cold and rain. At the time of cold and rain, okay, we should be safe and protective in the house, inside the house. Hence, we need house. It protects us from thieves and wild animals. We had seen some of the wild animals. Am I right or not? Yes. Three. Our home protects us from the rain. And four. Our home protects us from harmful wild animals. A home binds us all together because one. It helps us to talk freely to one another cook and dine together yes dear students as you all know that homes always help us to talk freely to one another when you are in the home you will talk to your parents you will talk to your brothers you will talk to your siblings you know yes and also your parents will cook your mother will cook food and you will have dinner together all right, children. Hence, we need what? Yes, home. Two. It is a place for relaxation, rest, and sleep after a hard day's work. Yes, dear students. Yes, this is the place where we get relaxation. When you go to school, you will get relaxations over there. No, children. Teachers will teach you the classes in the school, but. There is a place where you get relaxation. That is what? Yes, house. And you can also get rest and sleep after a hard day's work. When you do your work, yes, it's a right place to get some rest. Yes. After your school, where, you, where will you all go? Yes, dear students, all of you will go home. Right? Yes, that's a place to get rest. 
and then house as a row what is the structure of the house come on tell me children house as a roof walls windows and doors am i right uh, temporary houses are made up of yes mud okay in which there are two types of houses dear students yes which are there yes the first one is here kacha house and pakka house am i right yes now let us see yes the temporary houses right yes three we live in peace and comfort in our homes a home is a place where we arrange furniture and other articles like television radio telephone that belong to us for our comfort We build different kinds of houses. One, a tent. Yes, dear students. Now let us see temporary houses. Usually, do you know, children, the temporary houses which are all, which are all made up of mud. Am I right, children? Not only mud; they are made up of wood and straw. Hence, they are called as kacha houses. What is meant by kacha houses? the houses that are made up of mud wood and straw they are all called as yes kacha house such house is called huts okay have you seen some huts yes huts are made up of straws okay gudisilugalu right they are often found yes in the villages am i right they are not so strong dear students okay the temporary houses are not at all so uh, strong even tent also tent is a temporary shelter made up of thick cloth supported by poles right which is also a, a temporary house a tent is a temporary shelter made of thick cloth supported by poles and ropes tents are used for temporary living especially during camps huts huts are made of mud grass and bamboo yes dear students the other temporary house is called yes huts look at the image over there children usually huts are made up of mud grass and bamboo right these houses are built up built by using yes mud am i right and also grass and yes bamboo am i right this is also a, a temporary yes house the walls of the huts are made of mud and the roof is thatched with grass a chawl a chawl is a building having a number of tenements on each floor yes what is meant by chawl yes this is also a kind of house a temporary house right it's a building which will be having a number of tenan tenements on each floor look at the image over there yes the first floor ground floor right yes this is called as chawl each tenement has one room and a bathroom which is occupied by one family there is a common toilet outside the rent is very less and people living here are mostly from the lower middle class building a building is an airy house of four or five floors high yes dear yes. students as you all know that here uh, yes uh, let us go to the pakka houses okay such houses are yes found in towns and cities you have been watching there 
such as big buildings are found in yes cities they are quite strong they are very very strong why why they are so strong because yes they have been made up of yes cement brick okay iron right yes so each floor has about two to three flats am i right yes hence it is called as a bungalow or a what yes a building which is coming under yes pakka houses each floor has about two to three flats a skyscraper a skyscraper is a very tall building having about 20 or more floors yes this is also a kind of house they are called as skyscraper okay usually this kind of building which will be having more than 20 floors right yes where could you see these kind of buildings dear students you could see yes in bangalore kolkata mumbai am i right in big cities okay the sky uh, the sky scrapers will be found here lifts carry people up and down these buildings are used for residential purposes as well as for offices yes then in such a tall buildings how the people climb yes there are some lift adjusted yes uh, to take them upwards and downwards am i right these kind of buildings have been used for the purposes of residential and also they have been used for office purpose am i right yes a bungalow A bungalow is an independent house in which only one family lives. Yes, this is very interesting, children. Even you may have some bungalow there, right? In bungalow, there is an independent house, okay, in which <coughs> only one family will be living, right? <coughs> Tents are temporary shelters, while huts. a small and temporary houses chals buildings skyscrapers and bungalows are big and permanent houses besides some people live in houseboats on water while some people live in snow houses called the igloos built yes dear students most of the houses have flat roofs right however in places where there is a heavy rain uh, where there is a heavy rain fall and snow houses have slope roofing okay yes it will be looking like this okay when the rain falls yes the water will be falling down they allow the water and snow to fall down to the ground now let us see Houses around the world, you know, children. Yes, some of the houses are found on water, right? Houses floating on water are called houseboats. Already you have seen. Yes, how could be? Yes, look at this. This is called <coughs> houseboats. Besides, some people live in houseboats on water, while some people live in snow houses called. the glues right do you know children where do we find this kind of houses yes this kind of houses are found yes in kerala right in kerala and yes in some of the coastal areas we will be finding yes this kind of houses right they are found in kashmir and kerala even kashmir people have been built such houses okay a temporary houses made up of cloth or called tents already we have learnt about yes tents right yes they have been made up of a 
very very thick clothes right yes now we shall move on what's on water while well, some people live in snow houses called the igloos built from blocks of hard snow look at the pictures given below a house boat a snow house that is an igloo some of us stay in big houses while some stay in small houses whether the house is big or small we utilize the space according to our needs yes dear students as you all know that yes a few of the people will be living in big houses some of them yes living in small houses this is all according to their yes monthly income okay on the basis of income yes the people have money yes they build bungalow the people have yes an average money they will be build a small house am i right children yes look at the picture showing different parts of a house drawing room bathroom kitchen bedroom parts of a small house we have a drawing room bedroom kitchen bathroom and a toilet in our house yes dear students as a home how the home has been classified the home has been classified into different rooms for example in the bungalow drawing room bedroom kitchen bathroom and a toilet okay yes this is the way the home will be classified this is called as parts of a small house whether the house is big or small it should have sufficient windows and doors for ventilation yes as a house you must know that yes there should be a window right yes there should be a door for what ventilation the air should come inside okay yes to take a breath that means the house should be airy and well lit the house should have a drainage system to drain out the dirty water yes dear students yes why drainage is so important to a house as you all know that the house should have a drainage system right right yes to drain out the dirty water after a taking bath okay where that water will go yes that has to go outside am i right and also yes when your parents okay wash the dresses okay where that dirty water goes okay that has to be yes joined somewhere right yes arrangement should be made to have a plinth at the base of the house so that it does not catch dampness how to take care of a house yes now the we house. shall move on to the yes good home right how to take care of our house okay when we are living in the house it is our prime duty to take care of our house we have to be given the topmost priority for what yes we have to be given the topmost priority for yes cleanliness we should keep our surrounding clean am i right yes the house gives us yes shelter am i right let's keep watching it gives us shelter we are safe in our homes so we should take care for the house we live in the house should be dusted daily the rooms should be swept and the dirt should be collected in the bin yes dear students every day we should broom it okay we should clean the rooms right we have to clean the rooms and we have to collect all the litters right and we have to put it to yes the dustbin yes good houses are always clean and everything is kept 
as it play, as its place right every room is neat and tidy is good houses always have sufficient plants inside and outside which help us to keep the yes air fresh if the floor is of mud it should be plastered with cow dung if the flooring is of tiles then it should be mopped daily yes if the yes uh, house uh, if the floor is completely tiles okay that has to be mopped every day if you mop it uh, mop it every day yes it will be very very clean the toilets and the bathroom should be kept clean daily once in a week the cobwebs and the dirt collected yes dear students yes we should given top most priority for what yes cleaning the toilets we should keep <coughs> toilets uh, clean right and also once in a week we have to look at the roofs to every corner why no there will be cobwebs right that cobwebs should be removed the dirt should be removed and put into the yes dustbin it in the corners should be cleaned the repairs of the house should be done from time to time yes if any re repair is required to your house yes it has to be done time to time for example yes in your kitchen any window is broken if any window is older one yes that has to be removed am i right yes if any yes uh, cement wall is uh, getting old okay that has to be closed right time to time yes the house has to be checked if some wall has holes or cracks they should be filled immediately with cement yes look as i already told you yes if the walls are getting holes and cracks what you what you what should what should you do yes we have to yes uh, refill it by using what cement the house should be kept clean neat and tidy as a house in the house we have to keep all the rooms clean and tidy we should collect litters and we have to put into the yes a dustbin every 4 to 5 years the house should be painted to keep the house clean is the responsibility of each and every member of the family yes dear students at least once in 5 years the house house should get painted and the responsibility of cleaning house is going to everyone in the family all the fam family members okay will have to be taken this responsibility to keep the room clean to keep the house clean any work in the house should not fall short to remove the dirt to wipe the slab to fold the washed clothes to wash your utensils to keep all the things like books toys shoes bags etc yes dear students as a house the things should be kept in a rightful place am i right yes uh, we should be kept shoes okay yes in the uh, shoe stand right we should be uh, join the books we should be join the books in the cupboard right yes which thing where should be kept we must be knowing right and we have to be place them in a proper place the rightful places you must help your parents in carrying out all this work yes as you are small kids you have to help your parents okay to keep your house yes clean do you do it children yes you have to do it do you do that good in this way all of you can keep your home neat and clean and in proper order if all the homes are neat and clean so will be the environment yes if you keep your yes uh, home clean automatically 
the environment will be so good you will be very happy am i right yes you will get a proper air to breathe right yes health is wealth am i right how does good health will uh, health come yes through the cleanliness we should keep our surrounding clean this means total environment will be neat clean and beautiful yes dear students keep the house clean a house should have many windows and doors to let the sunlight and air and let out the stale air right that is why yes we should keep our home safe we should keep the house neat and tidy by keeping things in their places am i right yes already we have learned we should be kept where should be kept dustbin how to be collected the litters and where to be put them okay everything yes we learned okay up to now we studied about the different kinds of houses okay temporary houses and permanent houses and we also learned about yes the cleanliness in the house each and every room how to be kept clean okay we all we learned no yes this is all about the chapter in the next class i'll come up with the new chapter with the new videos thank you so much chidran have a nice day bye bye take care